Hi everybody, and thanks for stopping by. Recently I've had quite a few questions about the sensor port that I installed in my Oklahoma Joe's Highland offset smoker. So today I wanted to take a few minutes and show you some of the details of what I did. Now I did not um, record the actual process when I installed this. I was too busy just trying to get through that metal. Uh, I was not prepared for that and didn't know what I was doing fully. Uh, many of you out there who work with metal will probably know exactly what I'm talking about when I tell you how I did it. Uh, I wish I'd had a standing drill press, one that was um, on the floor and had some heights to it. Uh, I could have just popped the unassembled barrel on it using the step bit and gotten right through, but as it was, I ended up having to use an electric drill, electric hand drill, uh, with the step bit and it took probably an hour, um, two bits until I got some good lubricant on there and took my time, went slow, and finally got through. So let me show you some of the details here. Okay, so what we're looking at right here is the actual grommet. I purchased two when I did the installation just in case I mucked up the first one uh, or if I needed to replace it down the line. But this is what you're looking at here. It's a silicone gray uh, grommet, which I believe I'm almost positive is for the Weber Smoky Mountain. Uh, you can buy it as a replacement part um, on Amazon. I'll put the link there in the description. There are other places to buy it online which might be less money. You can search those out. If you search for Weber Smoky Mountain uh, replacement grommet, uh, you should be able to find it. But uh, you'll see there, there are a couple places for sensor wires to go through. There's a sort of a slit at the bottom, and then there's that sort of cyclops eye at the top which you can feed a wire through also. Uh, I generally run mine through the bottom, through that slit. There's more space and more forgiveness as you're putting it through, especially when you're trying to shove an actual sensor through and not just a bare wire. So that is the first item you're going to need if you're going to do this. The next item you're going to need is a step drill bit. And it, you need to get one that will go to an inch and a quarter because that's the size hole you need to make for the grommet to fit. And you're going to probably drill uh, a pilot hole with a metal drilling bit. I did an eighth of an inch first so I could get this going with a decent pilot hole. And if you're doing like I did with a hand drill, an electric drill, I would suggest a corded one because you're going to burn through batteries if it's cordless. Take your time. Run it on slow speeds. Use um, lubricant for drilling. And just take your time. If you push and force, you can actually burn this bit. I burned one and um, Wore it, wore it down and wasn't able to get through, had to purchase a second one. If you have a floor drill press, my suggestion is do this before you assemble the cooker. Just take the cooking chamber um, on its end, put it on the drill press, and bore through that way. You will see that it's much easier. I mean, I've used drill presses many times. I just don't have that size of a drill press to be able to do that. So I was forced to do it this way. Um, so this is what you need, step drill bit, which will take you up to an inch and a quarter depth, and take your time, lubricate, and you'll actually get through it in probably better than I did if you just do it at a slower speed. Okay, once you just be able to see what you're gonna be drilling through, measuring the thickness of the metal here, see if you can see that on there, it is an eighth of an inch thick, so you're gonna be drilling through eight inch metal on here. I don't know what the gauge is on that, on that. I'm not a, a metal person uh, but it's it's substantial enough for this cooker and drilling through taking your time with a, a step bit um, is really the best way to get through it unless you have some other way which is much easier to get that inch and a quarter um, hole okay so I just want to show you this grommet uh, a little bit closer up again you can see the two uh, ports there the slit and the hole if you look at it from the edge you see that channel right there and if you can see the depth of it that channel is where the metal of the body is going to slide into. It does take a little doing. I had to use a needle nose pliers to get some of the more difficult bits to fit, but it did fit. You just have to take your time. Uh, do make sure that you have that inch and a quarter um, hole in there. If you're less than that, it will not fit. If you're a little over, it probably will fit, but I would suggest going right to the inch and a quarter and just working this through. There might be an easier way to get it in. Maybe there's some sort of grease I should have put on to make it um, get in there easier, in, but it does get in. You just take, take a little bit of work. Okay, so let me show you what you get when you're done here. There is the um, connection that's going to go into your transmitter 
for any temperature probes you have, and that's outside the cooking chamber, obviously. I'm gonna follow the wire along. And there is our sensor port on the outside. You can see how the wire just comes through there easily and how there's plenty of room for multiple wires. So if you have a, uh, a unit like the Smoke, the, uh, I can't remember who makes that, um, the Thermo Thermoworks, Smoke that has multiple probe wires uh, or any one of the other numbers that do that, you can fit them all through there. I think you'd probably easily fit four through that bottom slit and another one through that top one. So now let's look at the inside. All right, so on the inside, you can see the sensor wire coming through, and there's a good char on that silicone. It's built to stand the heat. It's made for the Weber Smoky Mountain, so it'll handle it. Okay, and if we follow that wire along, we're going to get over to my temperature probe at great level. I place it right about in the middle of my cook chamber, and it has worked perfectly so far. I love that sensor port. I don't have to have the cable running between the door and the edge of the cook chamber and pinching it or damaging it. Uh, I don't think it probably would damage it too much and maybe you could cut a slot there, but this was my choice because it was something that was already available. And I do like the cleaner look of it and keeping the cord going through the side of the chamber, not out the front. Um, I can hang the transmitter over here on this little bar where everything else is hanging and have it completely off of the little grate in front so I can set things there. So there's my little rundown of the grommet that I used, putting in the Oklahoma Joe's Highland. Uh, you could probably do this in any smoker that you can drill through. Um, I know some of them already come with ports. This is probably the modification that I did that I'm most happy with. Keeps that cord and the wire from the sensor probe out of the way and just looks neater. I like it. I like things when they are kind of neat. So if I had to give you any advice, if you're going to be doing this, it's take your time. If you have a floor drill press, use it. You'll get through a lot easier. Uh, if you're using an electric hand drill like I did, um, take your time. Run it at slow speeds with lubricant. Talk to someone who knows metalworking. I, I didn't know much about it, and I had to actually um, look up some things on YouTube and ask a few people. Um, and the main thing was slow the drill bit down and use lubricant on there, and that did actually go quicker when I slowed it down on that second bit that I had to buy. So, you know, learn from my mistake. Don't, don't try and rush it. It just burns through drill bits. I hope this video is something that you find helpful if you're trying to decide whether to do this and if you're actually going to do it. Uh, as I said, I've had a lot of questions about the sensor port grommet recently, so I uh, just wanted to make this video to maybe put a little bit more information there for you so you can see some things visually. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.